let's help Betty and her two sons stay to Canada. They belong here. Uh, she was denied her refugee status. She was just waiting to hear from you know, the immigration about her humanitarian and compassion ground um, uh, application. She cannot be deported now. She's um, being deported next week. And on Thursday, March 2nd in the morning, she's going to the Canadian Border Services Agency to get her plane tickets and her sons and a date next week when she's being deported. We, I know it's too soon, but we still have time for action. We have time to demand change and action. And so I'm inviting you to meet me and Betty in front of Mona Fortress office. It's at 233 Montreal Road at 1.30 p.m. on March 2nd, it's this Thursday. Please sign the petition, share it with your network. Every activist, every politician, Sean Menard, Catherine McKinney, Joel Hardens, I don't know, Aaron Trotter, anybody you know, uh, liberal, uh, NDP, uh, conservative, anybody who can help, I don't, I don't care. You have a human heart, you can do something about it. So what I'm saying is, um, if you have a heart, don't don't forget where you came from, and um, and we need to do something. Uh, she works at the Auto Hospital since COVID nineteen hit. She's been paying her taxes. Why is she being deported? Why can't they give her the time to wait for her uh, for the immigration to answer her? Why? It doesn't make sense to me. Does it make sense to you? That's it. If not, come meet us on Thursday, March 2nd at 1.30 p.m. on 233 Montreal Road. It's in front of MPP Mona Fortress office and demand for answers. We're not going to leave until we get one. Ce jeudi 2 mars à 13h30, venez nous rencontrer Betty et moi devant le bureau de Mona Fortier pour avoir une réponse pourquoi Betty veut être déportée avec ses garçons qui sont canadiens de 1 an et 2 ans. One, uh, she has two sons, one has autism, one is still being breast, uh, uh, breastfeeding. Why? They can't stay here in Canada. They need their mama. She can't leave them behind. They're Canadians. They cannot leave Canada. Why are they leaving? They're Canadians. And so, uh, this this is very interesting. It's, it's a very interesting case. Um, and w if she leaves in Uganda, the Canadian son who who is two years old and is has autism, what kind of care health care is it gonna get? L'enfant qui a deux ans et qui est qui a l'autisme, quel genre de soins de santé va-t-il recevoir en Uganda? Il est Canadien. Va-t-on le laisser? Va-t-on le laisser comme ça? Il est de notre responsabilité de s'assurer qu'un Canadien va être bien traité, que ses droits sont, ne sont pas bafoués. This is about human right of a Canadian. We have to make sure he does not leave Canada, nor his mother. Betty, we got your back. So please share this video uh, tell your friend to tell a friend to come to 233 Montreal Road bring a sign that say hashtag Betty needs to say hashtag Betty's gets kids are not going anywhere Betty's kids belong here alors vous prenez une pancarte et venez nous retrouver au 233 chemin Montréal devant le bureau de Mona Fortier et envoyez un message fort c'est question de droit de la personne là Nous devons prendre soin les uns les autres. Merci.